Hey guys, what's going on? Tairaku here. I hope everyone's doing great. Now, if you click this video after seeing the thumbnail, which most people do, they see the thumbnail and click the video. You may have been seeing the thumbnail and thinking this has to be clickbait. Well, I'm here to tell you that it is definitely clickbait. No, it's not clickbait. Um, now, the thumbnail was probably something like Commander Got Me Lydia, something along those lines. And last night on stream, so today is Tuesday, I believe. And last night, I finally finished Banner Lords Faction Wars, which was literally the very last faction that I needed to get Lydia. And this champion, Commander, was potentially the reason or definitely a big contributor to how I actually got Lydia. So we look at this screenshot right here. This was from yesterday's stream. Commander, level 50, okay? So she's not even level 60. And I'm going to go through this whole thing, guys, and let you know whether or not I would take her to level 60, what situation she would be good in. Now, one thing I do want to make 100% clear is that Commander is by no means a carry for all game content. I think she has a very specific use in some very specific areas. And I am not saying if you have any other Banner Lords healing champion to go out and invest in Commander. But Commander does have some very, very solid roles. And as an uncommon champion, incredible. Let's take a look at this, okay? For all you people wearing glasses and can't really see this, Commander healed 200, or no, 200, 693,345 damage, okay? Seneschal healed a significant amount as well. But without Commander, there were several situations where I 100% would have died. Okay, so having Commander as a healer on this team was absolutely crucial. And this team, as you can see, stage 21, took me 35 minutes. This was a very painstaking, very, very palm sweaty push on Faction War stage 21, but I ended up doing it. And I'm gonna have the video coming out soon. Guys, let me know. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing some like Faction War content. I never really dived into it because I didn't have Lydia, but now that I do, I feel more comfortable with a lot of the factions. A lot of the factions I kind of had to like cheese some things together to actually get them to work. And I do have a better understanding. So if you're struggling with faction wars and you would like to see some content like that, definitely let me know. I can start providing some, some of that kind of stuff. Now let's take a look at my commander and let's kind of go over what her skill set is. Okay. So first off, she's in relentless gear. Now, when you look at her stats, 41,000 HP, 212 speed, and in relentless gear, obviously. This isn't like super early game free to play. You're going to have to have won some tournaments. This is some decent relentless gear, if I say so myself. Now, if she is level 50, okay, so she has a lower base HP. Now, her base HP right now is 11,175. If we go in here, look at her base HP when she gets fully level six star, fully ascended, it's 15,000. So she gains about 4,000 HP just from being taken up to six star, getting her fully ascended so on and so forth so in my situation my gear was good enough that i didn't see any reason to take her to six star and if you don't have a reason to take her to six star honestly i wouldn't take her to six star because you can get away with this you just really have to push as much hp as possible i'm gonna get into why exactly but hp speed and my favorite set was relentless you can use reflex as well but she has a very good ability one that can definitely be utilized Granted, it does need accuracy, which could be more of a reason to actually get her to six star because you can unlock this banner spot. But in my situation, I didn't need that because I did have Killian. Killian brought a stun. Commander also brings a stun on her ability one. Attacks one enemy, has a 15% chance. When booked up, it's a 20, uh, yeah, 25% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Now, this does need accuracy, okay? So if you're going to want to use this ability, you definitely want to put her with an accuracy banner. If you take her up to six star, you're gonna have to build her with some accuracy. Now, like I said, in my situation, I had Killian. He was doing all the stuns, but Commander, very, very, very solid option. Uh, her ability two, this is what really, well, this is what did all the healing. This is what allowed me to actually beat stage 21, in my opinion, like I, I couldn't have done it without her. Heals the ally with the lowest HP by 40% of this champion's HP. So this heal, I love it when skills say, heals a champion based on this champion's HP, because then I can just build commander full HP, put a lot of HP on her. So then she's healing allies by 40% of that. So she's doing what a 15,000 HP heal, almost a 20,000 HP heal. So she's getting a very solid heal off and then completely fills the target's turn meter. If the ally is fully healed, 
this champion's turn meter cannot be filled. So if she's the lowest HP, she will heal herself. If somebody else is the lowest HP, she'll heal them. And if she has a big enough heal, then they're going to get their turn meter completely filled, which on stage 21 of the Faction Wars is incredible. Now, the only downside of this skill is you can't select who it goes on. So you got to be very mindful that whenever you do it, it's going to go on a random person, which ended up per being perfectly fine for me because stage 21 wasn't no problem. As in like actually keeping the people alive. There was a few times where I did get worried, but the people who I was worried about had the lowest HP and she fully healed them. Now, when it comes to commander's masteries, I have none. All right. So she's a very, very bare minimum champion. Now, do I recommend going no masters with her? Depends on where you're at, okay? So if you're going to look at Commander for Faction Wars and you don't have Killian like I did, Killian brought the stuns for me, okay? But if you need Commander to bring your stuns and you want to just fully invest into her, which I don't necessarily think is a terrible idea, but I don't think Commander has a ton of uses. If you're pushing stage 21, Commander's probably not going to have a whole lot of uses outside of your Faction Wars 21 team okay she doesn't really bring a ton of stuff where she would make sense in a lot of different areas so as far as masteries personally i didn't want to go them if i did i would go down the defense tree and the support tree for some survivability or i guess you could do offense get war master so she could do a little bit more damage against the boss but the boss fight on stage 21 isn't really like hey you need to do as much damage as quickly as you can it's more so of a a, a slow burn at least that's what i did it took 35 minutes that's a pretty slow burn all right, so what I would do is I would stun the one ad, I would kill the other one. The boss would be, they have, they have a, he has a res, which I'm going to talk about this later on. I have the whole video, which I'll show you guys. But the boss, boss would res one champion. And as soon as he res the one champion, he'd be asleep. And then I'd kill the one that had the stun on the whole time and just switch back and forth. And it worked out very well. If you were going the stun route with Commander, you definitely want to pick up Eagle Eye if you don't have any way to get enough accuracy and keep her HP high. Her HP is really what HP and speed are the two stats, in my opinion, that are the most important. Okay. You really want that heal to be as big as possible. You want it to fully heal as often as possible. Because remember, every time you get a full heal, she's going to be boosting that target's turn meter, not just 10%, not 20%, but completely filling the target's turn meter, which is incredible. I'll jump in here to a Doom Tower run just to give you a little bit of an idea of what commander can do like i said commander's not going to be a champion who you throw into all your teams she's not going to be the star of the show all the time but as an uncommon champion for either a healer for low level content possibly some dungeons if you really need her if you're low level she's not a bad champion to invest in especially if you're like me and you don't have a support champion for faction war stage 21 i was very low on champions as you can see from the screenshot i literally did it with one, two, three level 50s. The only person who had masteries was Stagnite. Everybody else, the gear, the gear was good. But the books, basically non-existent. Commander, she's very easy to book. You can literally get her from the market, open her for mystery shards. I believe she's actually farmable from the campaign. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, we'll go to the campaign. And oh yeah, guys, so if you want to fully book your commander easily, just go to chapter one, stage the uh, very early chapters of the campaign, and you can get her from there, okay? Very easy to book. I mean, the books are definitely worth it. They're quite a few, but very easy to book. And you can get them from the market or from Mystery Shards, like I said. Let's jump into Doom Tower real quick, and let me show you guys what she can do. So we'll just go on here to one of the lower stages. Let's do, just do random stage, stage 32. All right, so let's find Commander real quick. We will use, hopefully, whoever I use, we'll have to use a Provoke Champion because I don't want Commander to get hit because she's not built to survive. So keep that in mind. If you want her to survive, throw some defense on her. Perfectly fine. Mine's not built to survive. She's built to heal, and that's about it. So we'll throw her buddy, Seneschal, Seneschal, whatever his name is. We'll throw him in here with her, just because he was the tank for my uh, Faction War Stage 21 push anyways. Um, I'm going to have to go get my son in just a second. That was a loud scream. So <laughs> here we go with this. Let's see her heal. All right, guys, so my son is taken care of now. My wife is he's having to cry it out. Sometimes um, he doesn't he's not ready to go to sleep, so he's going to have to just cry it out for just a minute, but we'll go check on him after that. Now, let's watch Commander's heals, okay? So she's wearing Relentless Gear, extra turn, boom, boom, fully healed, boom, extra turn, and then we get some more heals from Seneschal. So obviously, Commander is incredible. She's great, especially for Faction Wars, 
but she can have uses in other areas. Like I said, I really like her in this Relentless gear. The, a big reason why is because her ability one is very useful, has that stun. Her ability two is very useful. If you put her in reflex gear, it can lower the cooldown on ability two. Definitely makes sense. But I just think Relentless gear far outweighs the potential from the reflex gear because commander's abilities, like I said, both of them are very useful. So as a uncommon champion, bring her in as a stun champion. She does similar to what Killian for me did. If you don't have Killian, commander's excellent, all right? So definitely, as an uncommon champion, if you're pushing in Faction Wars 21, you need a healer, you need some good stuns, some consistent stuns. I mean, 25% chance to land is definitely not bad. Pair that with the Relentless set, where she's getting extra turns back to back to back. You're going to get a lot of stuns placed. I mean, you're going to land essentially one in four. A very, very solid champion. So if you get a commander, you need a CC champion. If you need a decent healer for faction more specifically but possibly some other areas of the game you've seen what she can do you can kind of see how she works decide for yourself should you invest into commander i am for sure glad that i did because while it did take 35 minutes <laughs> i finally got lydia so guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next one